Okay, guys, it is 6.15. It's really 6.17, but our clock says 6.15, and our chef is in the hospital. So, you know what that means. That means Chef Brittany to the rescue. So, tonight we are making a pasta dish. Not we, but I am, and then y'all can watch. I'm going to make this in... Honestly, it'll be done in like 25 minutes. So excuse Charles, he's in the background talking. To start it, you need your noodles. I'm gonna be using the rigatoni noodles. I got two boxes of those, but honestly, I'll probably just use one because there's not that many of us now. And then I asked for the Alfredo white sauce. So I have the four cheese Alfredo sauce that I'm gonna use. And some black pepper. Excuse my nails, guys, I haven't done that. You want to get your water boiling, so I boiled my water before I took a shower. The meat that I'm going to be using for protein is the turkey smoked sausage in our noodles. And if you flip it on the back, it shows you this one is total three carb, two sugars. That's not bad. And then for the people in the house that can eat carbs, I'm going to pop this in the oven for them. Okay. So let's get started by pouring our noodles into the pot. And we're just gonna pour the whole thing. Yes, yeah, so we're just gonna make one box of those. I'm not making two boxes. That'll be too much. We're gonna let our noodles cook down. And I know I had three of these sitting over here, but I think we're only gonna use two. And I'm gonna put one away in the cabinet. And the vegetable that I'm gonna put in this pasta dish will be broccoli. So I have this pan heating up right here. We're gonna go ahead and open up our meat packets. Cut those on this little salsa. I have to apologize, guys. I don't have my um I don't have my tripod. Okay. Okay guys, so you know how to chop up meat, so I'm gonna chop up two packs of this because I wanna make enough for dinner tonight and then leftovers for tomorrow. So I'm gonna chop up two packs of this meat and then when I come back, we will put it in this salsa pan. Okay guys, so I'm gonna chop up these two packs of meat and when we come back, we will put it in this salsa pan. Okay guys, one more thing, you know I'm on my keto and I meant to show you that you can get make pasta dishes keto friendly. Um, this is the Classico Four Cheese brand Alfredo and the total sugars is one. It does have include one gram sugar, but that's okay. Um, zero is better, but this one does have one and then the added one. And then it's a total three carbs. So this is like really low carb if you're on low carb. And then the meat is all chopped up. So we're going to go ahead and I'm just lowering down the fire. This is a gas stove that I'm cooking on. Where is my... This is like kind of a lot, but I am not about to cook this twice. So we're putting all of this meat on it and then we will 
put a lid on it so that the heat will help cook everything through until it's nice and brown. This will not take long at all. This is a quick, easy meal. If you have family to feed, kids, all of that. and to make it easier you take your sauce and you put it right into your pan some uh oh i just made a mess some people actually put this in a pot and heat it that way that's the way that some people do it but we're not going to do it that way we're going to do it this way and then we'll add one more sauce to this pan and let it heat with the meat and you just kind of add everything together so I'll be back when I get my next sauce in here and my broccoli done. And then the Texas toast is in the oven. So we'll be back in a few more minutes. Okay guys, so this is the box of um, Texas toast that we're using. The five cheese is the one that my family loves. And on the box it says to preheat 425 for five to eight minutes. So... It's 6.33 right now. So I'll probably take it at like 38, 39. Um, I mean, put it in at 38, 39. But these are um, the ones I'm going to do. I put two extra because Charles might want a second one. And so will Nick. Um, the boys always eat more. And then this is the broccoli that I'm going to use. I prefer frozen vegetables. So I'm going to take a lot of broccoli actually to cook in it. Since I'm keto, I want to add more broccoli into mine and then um yeah so i'm gonna mix that on in with it and i'll show y'all how i come up with that everything's cooking the meat is in here cooking down and then the noodles are pretty much done um i don't want these to get sticky so i actually might put some butter in here just to keep my noodles nice and moist i hate the word moist if you hate the word moist, let me know down below in the comments. I hate the word moist, but y'all know what I'm saying. So I had to use it for this reference. And look, y'all, I lost the noodle back there. I was mixing it up too strong. My little flip of the wrist game was too strong. So I always try my noodles just to make sure it's cooked. So I'm going to sit that one right there so it can work its magic. You guys, I've been moving because I did not even record this part. I basically defrosted down my broccoli. And, um, so it's not all the way cooked down. I'm going to let it cook down in this salsa pan right now with the sauce. Now I'm trying to see if I have enough sauce. If not, remember we have those backup cans in the cabinet and I like my pastas are very saucy so I actually think I'm gonna get oops y'all saw that flip out the pan I actually think we're gonna get one more sauce because we can all right let's let that sit like that actually going to put this third sauce can into my pan okay. I'm going to mix that on through just so that it's nice and saucy is very cheesy. This is like the four cheese Alfredo sauce.
go ahead and season. I'm going to take a little bit of onion. Actually, I think I'm going to do a little bit of garlic, garlic powder. Some black pepper. I was going to do onion powder, but I do not want it too oniony. If you guys really like onions, by all means, go ahead and use the onion powder, but I'm not going to add that into this. And that third sauce did the trick. This is the consistency that you want your pasta to have. And I'm just going to cap that lid on it for probably another five minutes just to let my broccoli go ahead and cook down. And the last scene, or the last part of this video will be when this is plated with the bread. And the last part of this video will be when it's plated down with the bread. Which the bread is in there, I need to take it out. Oh yeah, that's nice and crispy, so it's time to take the bread out. I'll show y'all the finished touch when it's all plated. Okay guys, so this is the plated meal, the pasta with the broccoli sauce and turkey meat and the bread. And this one's my mom, so you'll have to see if she likes it. And there's Nick. Oh, and Charles. <laughs>